back in KTM and yeah, I want to try to go running. See uh, if I can run because the pollution is uh, a lot less than it used to be. Whew. Man, today would run almost seven kilometer. I'm gonna run again. My my belly is a little bit painful right now. I have to admit, I did something uh, really stupid one more time in my life. Losing sixty-five, six, <laughs> losing sixty-five gigabyte of uh, footage from my Sony camera and uh, most of it were from Kathmandu. But man, Kathmandu, I never thought I would enjoy Kathmandu, or I never thought I would see Kathmandu that fresh, I would experience Kathmandu that fresh, and I would breathe fresh air in Kathmandu. But I did. Great time, great time, except the flight, because the flight was a nightmare. I cannot even, I, I even have no words to explain how nightmare it was to organize a flight to Iceland. Because you know there was only chartered flight, right? No commercial flight. So that was a problem. And finally it happened, but with like lots of stress. My flight got canceled three times and at the end it was like, well, if you want, you have a flight tomorrow. Uh, but we don't know if it will happen or not. And I was like, okay, I don't care. Put me in any flight and I will take a chance. Every single chance there is, I will take a chance. So uh, I bought the most expensive flight of my life. So I uh, <clears throat> made it inside the airport, or I mean through uh, everything. I arrived here half past one, and now it's almost half past four, and uh, it took that long. And uh, partly it was, it was kind of bullshit. They were disturbing us because they said we didn't have my name was not on the <laughs> on the list. Come on, man! Like I I bought a ticket, you know. No government is uh, sending me or. You know, taking me to other con another country. I bought myself a ticket. I have all the documents I need. I have my passport. I have, I have everything I need. But then uh, they stopped me because the system. You know, they have a brand new system. And guess what? They are learning. They're all learning. They said like, we don't know the system. We are just getting familiarized. And I'm like, for God's sake, fuck, man, like. Do your training first. Plane 
and it smells very weird I guess they sprayed some chemicals inside <clears throat> and uh, it looks so weird to see all these uh, air hostess actually uh, looking like a creep in the movie you know a serial killer who is ready to chop you down anyway the first flight here goes the first flight Your cabin crew today, we wish you a pleasant stay here in Munich for a safe journey to your final destination. Qatar Airways, we're going places together. Thank you and good afternoon. From here I need to figure out how I get to uh, Frankfurt. I still haven't made up my mind how I want to go. Flying is not really an option, it's way too expensive. It's like 500 euros. Uh, trains, every single train drops me in Frankfurt like 1 o'clock in the night, 2 o'clock in the night, 3 o'clock in the night. And after that I have you know 7 8 hours more to kill or even 10 hours more to kill. Because my flight is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So my other option is renting a car. There is also a bus. Uh, bus, exact same story, you know, it, it drops me off in a very weird time. And also I have to change buses. Imagine like, you know, I'm already <laughs> sleepy and uh, if I have to wake up in the middle of the night and change the bus, I might forget uh, a few of my luggage. Because I'm pretty good at uh, forgetting things. Actually, just book the car. Sweet. I'm slightly tired, but I should be fine. So I have um, the energy drink to keep me awake. Don't really want to buy plastic bottles, but I have no other choice than buying it. And when you're in Germany, you cannot live without eating a sausage. This big. <laughs> mm. Oh, well, I just finished one Red Bull. So I'm pretty uh, active for now and I, I have to be active here man like the cars comes like a shooting star because um, no speed limit zone you know cars like going it's actually fun I, I actually love driving but it's a little bit scary to to come in a uh, no speed limit zone because um, you know I cannot make an error at all like I said it's fun to drive, but at the same time, it's also scary. 
uh, luckily I have a I have a good car you you definitely need a good car uh, to drive on a no speed limit zone here I have arrived this is actually a nice old town oh I don't want to count hours how many hours uh, I've been on the road for but anyway, I made it nicely here. Uh, this house is beautiful, actually. Uh, I don't know how old it is, but definitely pretty old. The whole town is actually really cool, really old. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to explore all this place. It's already uh, half past nine. I need to go and find food. Hopefully I'll find some food. And then uh, I have one big mission, sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep good. Uh, it has been a journey so far and if I had two more friends or family it would be nice actually I have oh my god oh nice I'm not gonna start to death you know if I don't find a food I have apple here thank you host Cheers. I guess uh, I deserve a beer after all this traveling. Cheers. <sighs> Feels good, man. Uh, I'm gonna take another sip. quite late but I <clears throat> also managed to find a food a good food so I got a steak it looks good it even has a chili on top like she knows like I need a chili but let's test how it tastes like mm. I, I really like something that is like overboiled like this one I, I don't know what it's called I guess this is pumpkin mm. Pumpkin is pumpkin. Yeah. Mm, I can already feel the tenderness of the meat. Mm. 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 Man. Man. So good. The meat. I don't even have to chew it. Just melts in my mouth. Mm. Let's see if the chili is hot or not. Mm. Not bad, not bad. I'd be disappointed if it was not hot. I often give myself a treat. You know, with good food and drinks and so on. I think it's good to do that often. This is how I make myself happy. <laughs> Nobody has to give me a treat. Well, if you give me a treat, I will definitely take it. So this was another great night. From point I fell asleep to a point I woke up just right now <laughs> nothing happened in between everything was dead in between okay my final push today Woo! I'm excited uh, time to start the day I have coffee I don't know what brand it is But it smells great.
forgot the camera. Oh no. Here it starts another uh, adventure for me. They cannot find uh, me in the system. But I know I bought the ticket. I actually bought an expensive ticket. Uh, my ticket was still economy but more expensive kind. So uh, yeah, I hope they will uh, let me fly in. Because uh, otherwise, otherwise, you know, the vlog will become longer and I think there is not much interesting things happening here to uh, film more and I don't have more money to spend you know so I hope they will figure something out and I can fly to them it has been long enough journey already so ah, it will be nice to just fly home today Negative. Ooh, I got the COVID test. Uh, they basically <laughs> put in like this far into my nose and this far into my throat to get these two different samples. And uh, I basically have to make sure that uh, I don't go to shop. I don't do anything social. I stay home for another 24 hours because the result will come within 24 hours oh finally here in Iceland but I have uh, quite far to go first I need to go and first I need to take a bus to capital and from there there I have to find a bus and I have to drive this bus all the way to north uh, another I would say six hours to go so it's not gonna be like driving that Volkswagen 180 km per hour but <laughs> it will be an adventure oh my god it's so strange to see everything quiet you know nice the bus idea didn't work out that was the bus I was supposed to take. Uh, they fucked it up <laughs> because they forgot to put the number plate. Rest is all good. They forgot to put the number plate. They uh, took the the wrong bus number plate, so I cannot drive. Um, but you know, there are so many cars here, right? There's no problem for me to borrow one, <laughs> so I borrowed this one, and I'm going uh, home. I just got a, a text message saying I'm not diagnosed, so uh, I'm COVID free. That means I can see my family and not have to be in hospital or quarantine. Good, and the midnight sun is here. Coming back home was the nicest thing that happened, you know, after a long time. Uh, I was away for almost five months from my uh, family, especially my little girl, my daughter. Coming back to a family, coming back to someone who you love is uh, always a nice thing. So um, after I came back here, I spent lots of time with them. I'm still spending lots of time with them. So um, I'm, I'm sure you guys are also doing that with your uh, loving ones. If you have not, you should better, you know. If you have not, give time to your family, give time to your daughter, give time to your wife, give time to your mother, father, everybody. Everybody that you love. And the world will become beautiful. So until then, stay safe from this bloody corona. 
and uh, stay safe from uh, everything else. Enjoy your life, and uh, I will see you on my next episode.